If you've ever met someone who's good at what they do, you know they don't have to say it. Yes, sir. Aiden Edlindas is a man of few words. That's good. And many memories. Yeah. For two decades, he stood by U.S. Army Europe soldiers, literally, giving privates and generals alike the four-star treatment. When I first came here, he did a really good job with my hair. So how are you, sir? Oh, it's consistency. I mean, when you get a good barber, you come to rely on it. 20 years seems like a long time. Yeah. <laughs> until you find out he's been cutting them high and tight since he moved from Turkey to Germany at 19. You know, 43 years work. You know. That's an eternity, though, compared to the time he has left. June, I guess. Oh, uh, June? So, so long. Yeah. Time come too fast. Eh? In a few short months, he'll be on the receiving end of a trim. I think so. The U.S. Army in Heidelberg and Mannheim are doing what armies tend to do. They're moving out. Tough news for a man who stayed year after year, while troops have come and gone. Now he's going too, but not alone. Okay, nice day, sir. Cheers, bye. He plans to take all of this. Maybe Stuttgart? Yes. Stuttgart clones, you know. <laughs> I don't want to say he's a workaholic, but he really enjoy working and being around customers. Andrea has 28 years of military haircuts on her resume. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, half of my life almost, or more, even more than half of my life. So how are you, sir? But the hard part won't be moving on. No, it was always teamwork. I mean, you know, it was... It'll be saying yeah, goodbye. A really good time working with him. Aiden probably won't say it. He lets his work and his wall speak for him. For U.S. Army Europe, Jesse Granger, okay, bye, Heidelberg, Germany.